Hey guys, it's me Lunar. Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this one, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Legendary Hunter challenges done. I'm currently working on a video for getting all 21 in-game perks, and this is required for doing it, so I thought I would share. I'm not sure yet whether I want to do videos on all the different challenges. It really just depends on how much people watch this one. But since I did it anyway, I wanted to show you guys how to do it, so I can link the video in my perks video. If you complete, you will unlock the Master Hunter Offhand Holster, Master Hunter Bandolier, Master Hunter Gun Belt, and the Master Hunter Holster. At the same time, you will permanently increase your stamina by one level as well, so it's definitely worth doing these. Plus, of course, you need to do it for 100% completion. If the video is helpful, a like is appreciated. To start, I did all of these in West Elizabeth. Uh, there are loads of species of animals here, so it's a good place to get everything except for Challenge 9 and 10. Let's start on Challenge 1. Challenge 1 is to kill and skin 3 deer. Deer are found pretty much everywhere in game and you simply must kill any of them and skin 3 of them. No explanation needed for that one, we could just move on to challenge 2. Challenge 2, kill and skin 3 perfect rabbits. Rabbits like deer are found throughout the map, but we need perfect rabbit pelts in order to do the challenge. Whenever you discover rabbits and you study them, you will notice that they have stars next to their name, like all animals do. Either 1, 2 or 3 stars next to them. 3 star rabbits are the only ones that will give you perfect pelts. In order to maintain the quality of the pelt, you need to kill the rabbits with a specific weapon. You can use either small game arrows using your bow and arrow. The varmint hunting rifle will be your best option, as with the bow and arrow you will have to hit vital organs which is difficult to do on a rabbit, whereas you can just shoot the rabbit anywhere with the varmint rifle and you can kill it in one hit. So all you have to do is kill 3 perfect rabbits and skin them, to complete the challenge, I did this on the paths around Strawberry, as there seems to be a lot of rabbits going around there. Challenge 3 is to track 10 different animal species using your binoculars. Pull out your binoculars, study the animal, and then hold the track button while looking at them with your binoculars, and that is all you need to do in order to track the animal. The only thing you can't track are birds, really simple, and this should only take you 5 minutes to do. You must track 10 different species, you can't do all the same kind of animal. Out here in West Elizabeth, there are just tons of animals as you can see running around. Challenge 4 is to call an animal and get a clean kill 5 times, not to be confused with getting a perfect pelt. So I'm in the exact same location for this one, basically we're just going to sneak around and five 5 different animals. When you're close enough, you can call them, it doesn't work for birds as well, and then they will lift their head up and look at you. As soon as you press the call button, you can then shoot and kill the animal. To get a clean kill, you simply need to do it with one hit. Use your most powerful rifle, whether it's a bear or a rabbit. However, for bigger animals, aim for the head to make sure that they do die first time. For everything else, using something like the bolt action rifle will definitely kill them in one hit. Challenge 5, skin 3 black or grizzly bears. Bears are located on lots of mountainous regions. I found plenty right here in West Elizabeth. Make sure to use a powerful weapon like the shotgun in order to kill them quickly. I use the bolt action as well with express ammo for an easy kill. And then again, you simply have to skin the three bears and you will complete the challenge. Challenge 6. Kill 5 cougars with your bow then skin them. This is going to be the most difficult part of, of getting the master hunter challenges done because it's very time consuming. Now this one is a bit difficult because the cougar doesn't spawn that often, it only spawns in a few locations on the map and of course it will attack you on sight and you will definitely get ambushed and killed by the cougar at some point. To do this one we are staying in the same place just upstream from Lake Owangila. This is where you will find the cougar's spawn location. Basically wander around until you find him, usually he's in the river or the forest close by. If you stand still, you can usually hear him. You need to use your bow and arrow to kill him, so either use dead eye, have good aim, or use fire arrows for example, so that way you can kill him quickly. After you kill and skin them, you will need to go to sleep for a few days for him to respawn, and then you can repeat. Basically what you're trying to do is wait for the old cougar's body to decompose fully, at which point it will no longer show the paw print on the map of where the old cougar was, at which point the new cougar can then spawn. However, keep in mind that sometimes if it's too soon after the, the last cougar has finally decomposed, you will still have to sleep for a little bit longer than that. So sometimes it could take longer than two days in order for the next cougar to show up. So you'll be spending lots of time camping and just waiting around for the next cougar. One final thing to note, make sure not to leave the cougar corpse in the river or close to water as it doesn't seem to decompose when you do. The other thing is in this exact location sometimes a grizzly bear will spawn and not the cougar, meaning again you will have to kill and wait for that to decompose, taking up even more time in order for the next cougar to spawn. The whole challenge will take at least a couple of hours, most of which will just be spent in your camp sleeping. 
as you can see in the video, the location here on the river and the location up here in the forest beside these rocks is the location that the cougar always spawns. So just walk back and forth between the two and you should see it. If it hasn't shown up after a few minutes and the last cougar body has disappeared, then you should just go back to sleep and then retry. But like I said, this one is gonna take a while. Challenge seven, use bait and lure to kill both a herbivore and a predator. An easy one to do, you can craft a bait at a campfire or just in your menu, and you can buy it from bait shops as well. Simply go to an area where carnivores or herbivores spawn, which is almost all places. Usually I wait to see one before I do because I know there's one close by. Throw one of the baits on the ground and hide. Wait until the animal starts eating, then you can simply kill the animal. After this, move away from the area because usually all the animals will disappear. Throw the other type of bait down and then repeat the same thing. Make sure that you kill both animals before killing any other ones, as you have to do them consecutively. But it's a really easy one to do. Challenge 8. Catch 3 fish without using a fishing rod. All you have to do for this one is go to anywhere where there's visible fish, you can see them splashing in the water, and then instead of using your fishing rod to catch them, simply shoot them in the water and pick them up. Really easy and should only take a few minutes to kill three and pick them up. I did mine here at the lake in West Elizabeth. For challenge number nine, we're moving on to a different location to catch an opossum. And there are opossums here in West Elizabeth, but I found them much more difficult to find. And also they spawn in the same location as the cougar and it will often attack you when you're looking. So I did mine here at Ringneck Creek. This one sounds difficult, but all you have to do is find a possum, which are located here on the map, wait for it to play dead, which it does as soon as you go beside it. While it's playing dead, to unlock the challenge, simply kill the possum. One thing to note that the opossums only come out at night, so make sure that you do sleep until night before searching. And as I said, they're usually on this area of the map, although they can be found in other places. Our final challenge is to find and kill the legendary panther, Giaguaro. Located at the bottom of the map next to Braithwaite Manor, you can go to the territory I've marked on the map where you will find the three clues for the panther. After you discover them, the panther shows up and you must kill and skin him, at which point you will complete challenge number 10. That will unlock all four of the items that we mentioned at the start, plus it will permanently increase your stamina by one. And also those items you get from the panther are needed for crafting a talisman, which will give you a perk. The panther's pelt will be used for some legendary outfits at the trapper. So this one is definitely worth doing, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more Red Dead videos, including Red Dead online updates. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.